this is the story of a man on a global journey, a never-ending search for the most beautiful landscapes, most magnificent wildlife, and delicious fried chicken sandwiches. Wait, what? You really want me to say that? Yeah, man, just read the script. But the script is bad. Listen, I hired you to read the script, not give notes on the script. Just, you know what? I don't have time for this. We got so much to do. You're fired. Let's get somebody else on this. This is the story of a man on a global journey, constantly telling people he's trying to slim down, but then writing YouTube scripts that call for fried chicken sandwiches. Yo, come on. That's not fair. Honestly, man, she has a point. Yeah, I mean, you could have chosen a salad or, like, anything else, really. All right, you know what? I just wanted to record a quick little voiceover. Now I'm getting roasted by disembodied robot ghosts. I'm going home. All right, what's up, nerds? Today, we're going to be talking about one of the hottest new trends and one of the most divisive topics in the world right now. Artificial intelligence. Every single voice you just heard, other than my own, believe it or not, was AI, generated by Artlist's new AI voiceover tool. Robots. Robots, huh? Now, you probably don't know this about me because I don't show this much on my YouTube channel, but for my commercial client work, I actually spend a lot of time working with voice actors for voiceover work, and the finished products often come out very nice. Perfect start for dinner at the kitchen at Middle Ground Farms. This is the essence of farm to table. Tonight, we'll sleep under the stars. Now, unfortunately, they do take a long time because each director's request takes a day or two for new recordings, then there's revisions, retakes, more revisions, client approval, etc. It's really rewarding in the long run, but the process is very slow and very expensive. So when I saw that Artlist was coming out with an on-demand voiceover tool powered by AI, I was honestly excited. I mean, I was also hesitant and a little weirded out because I've been extremely unimpressed by the vast majority of the AI I've seen, and some of it has been honestly, like, legitimately disgusting. It's a very divisive subject, and it's one that I personally feel very strongly about, but I do also think that AI has the potential to be an amazing tool that can create some really incredible stuff in the future. This is why you created us. So before we get into the tool, I do think it's fair if I address my main objection to AI, and that's the way that it's used less as an artistic tool and more of an anti-artist weapon. A lot of people are using AI as a mechanism specifically to replace artists, to avoid paying a creative, and instead they just create a digital tool that steals and exploits the thousands of hours of practice that human artists like myself invest to hone their craft. Now, obviously this subject is very close to my heart because I am one of those humans who has spent thousands of hours honing their craft, and so seeing something like Midjourney or ChatGPT proudly claiming it can duplicate my entire life's work in five minutes is intensely insulting and honestly pretty scary. So with all of that said, why would I be here not just using but legitimately endorsing a new AI tool? And the answer is simple, and that's because Artlist did this correctly. The new AI voiceover tool is not a fully digital AI voice created by disembodied robot ghosts. These voices are actually generated from real human beings. They were real voice actors who were paid for their time and talent. The AI portion simply helps assemble those words that were spoken by actual human mouths with lips and teeth and stuff into coherent sentences. It's more or less the same as hiring an actual voice actor to do your voiceover work, but shaving off about six weeks of effort and 45 emails. AI is a very contentious subject, and I'm 100% sure some of you will disagree with me on this point, and honestly, that's fine. I only like half agree with myself on this one right now, but in the grand scheme of the AI is evil debate, this seems to be truly one of the least evil and most beneficial use cases I've seen so far. So with all that said, now let's get into the part that actually matters. Does it work? Is it useful? Is it worth it? Honestly, overall, yeah, I would say yes. Artlist has 35 distinct voices in the catalog, ranging from epic action film trailer to nature documentary narration to angsty teen girl, and each voice has previews that quick play when you hover your mouse. 
They say life's a journey, but they never tell you what kind of road you're going to find. You. I miss you, bro. Remember those summers at the basketball court? You, in the heart of the Amazon, a lost tribe thrives in harmony. Uh, generating your VO is literally as simple as clicking on the voice you want, typing the words you want to hear, and then clicking generate. Now, I will say that the success rate is still probably only about 80% on these, as I ended up with a few that definitely still sounded like robots. We're just finally coming out of the uncanny valley when it comes to AI voices, and while this artless voiceover feature is impressively good, there were a few instances where I could definitely tell that this was not a live human speaking. But there is a drop-down menu with a couple sliders to change the output, including emotional range, similarity to original voice, and style boost. I honestly couldn't quite tell you specifically what changed about each iteration as I moved the sliders around, but the output did change, and so with a little trial and error, I found it very easy to get a result I was happy with. You get 50,000 credits with the standard plan, which is equivalent to 50,000 characters of text converted to speech, which I feel like is plenty for most uses, unless you're trying to make a legitimate like feature film using entirely AI narration. Uh, here's a quick sample sentence with the sliders moving around so you can get a feel for what kind of variation results from the different options. But keep in mind that each voice is different, so the actual outcome will really depend on your specific sentence, the voice that you choose, and honestly, your own personal writing style. It is a period of civil wars in the galaxy. A brave alliance of underground freedom fighters has challenged the tyranny and oppression of the awesome Galactic Empire. It is a period of civil wars in the galaxy. A brave alliance of underground freedom fighters has challenged the tyranny and oppression of the awesome Galactic Empire. It is a period of civil wars in the galaxy. A brave alliance of underground freedom fighters has challenged the tyranny and oppression of the awesome Galactic Empire. It is a period of civil wars in the galaxy. A brave alliance of underground freedom fighters has challenged the tyranny and oppression of the awesome Galactic Empire. Overall, this was a very fascinating subject to explore, especially as someone who has historically had a knee-jerk negative gut reaction to everything AI. This is one of the first times I've seen an AI product that feels truly useful and overall potentially beneficial to the creative industry. Is it truly non-problematic? Of course not, but actual human actors were paid for this work, and this will likely be used by small-time creators like myself who were never going to shell out hundreds or thousands of dollars for custom voice work for a small YouTube video in the first place. Projects that require true voiceovers will continue to hire voice actors for custom jobs, but this will be an amazing stopgap tool to help up-and-coming content creators bring their visions to life. I'm truly, genuinely curious to get your thoughts about all this, so please, please drop a comment below and let me know what you think. Will you be trying this new feature out? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Are you ready to buy a shotgun because the T-1000 is just around the corner? Let me know below, and until next time, Stay nerdy.